Hello, in this video we will look at some unique aircraft from the Marvel Cinematic Universe that can be adapted for electric propulsion. So this is one of those videos where you get loads of information on aerodynamics and aircraft design in a fun-filled manner. So without further ado, let's begin. One of the most striking air or spacecraft that has featured in the Marvel movies and in particular Guardian of the Galaxy series is the Milano. It is used by the Guardians. The Milano feature gullwing configuration which is normally used in aircraft to improve visibility as the wings cantilever at the top of the fuselage. The distinguishable feature of the gull wings is that they are in straight and have a bend along the length. This makes the inner portion of the wing dihedral and the outer portion of the wing after the bend anhedral. Wings with the dihedral have improved roll stability. On the other hand, the anhedral portion of the wing makes the aircraft nimble and more maneuverable. A properly designed gull wing can offer the best of stability and maneuverability at our required speeds. Another interesting feature of the Milano aircraft are the very pronounced and unique winglets. Its winglet configuration can be said to be a combination of the Whitcomb winglet and the wingtip sail. Winglets are known to eliminate or push away the wingtip vortices thereby allowing almost all the portion of the wing to produce lift. It is also interesting to note that the Milano has a blended wing body. There has been a lot of interest in the blended wing body or the BWB lately as it can reduce the fuel cost by as much as 20%. Airbus's Maverick is the latest BWB aircraft and subscale model flights of it have shown promising results. There's another blended wing body design shown in the MCU. It is the Valkyrie from the 2012 movie The Avengers. It was depicted as an advanced bomber plane used by Hydra during the World War II. While the movie is pure fiction, but interestingly, the Germans during the World War II did have a prototype blended wing body aircraft, namely the Horton HO-229. The aircraft was way ahead of its time. After the war ended, this aircraft was worked on both by British and American engineers, but they couldn't get it functioning. The Horton HO-229 is one of those marvels of engineering that came out of the war, among many others, that leaves you to wonder about the impact of the aircraft on the outcome of the war had it been fully developed. Recent iteration of the blended wing body design feature engines at the stern. This gives the added benefit of boundary layer ingestion, thus improving the performance by a further 8%. Talking about boundary layer ingestion, the MCU has another aircraft that uses this technique. It is the Stark cargo plane that was featured in Spider-Man Homecoming. Next up, we have the tail sitter that was shown in Captain America the First Avenger, namely the Fork Wolf Tribe Flugel. This unusual aircraft features three rotor blades that were mounted on a ring assembly supported by bearings allowing free rotation around the fuselage. The rotating wings act like a rotor when the aircraft is in vertical position and when in horizontal position, act like a giant propeller. An interesting point to note here is that as the blades were powered by ramjets at the tips rather than from a power plant inside of the aircraft, there was no rotational torque on the fuselage to counter. The tribe flugel shown in the movie was based on a real aircraft. It was being designed and developed in Germany, but the Allied forces reached the production facilities when this aircraft was in the wind tunnel phase. No functioning prototype was ever made. However, more recently, we have two tail sitters electric aircraft that use similar design principle. One is NASA's Puffin and the other is the Zewa Z2. In the personal electric VTOL sector, a tail sitter design makes more sense as it eliminates a lot of complexities. Lastly, we have one of the fan favorites, the Quinjet that has featured in several movies in the MCU. The most interesting feature of this aircraft is the large anhedral wings that keep the aircraft unstable but maneuverable. As the aircraft comes into land, the outer portion of the wing bends further down, helping to catch more fountain lift. 
For hovering and vertical takeoff, the Quinjet is shown to have fan and wings or wing embedded rotors. There are a few fan and wing aircraft being developed at present. They are the Starlink Jet by Summit Aerospace, the Cavadet X5 by Horizon Aerospace, and the Atia by Ascendance Flight Technologies. The Quinjet also covers its wing embedded fans when they aren't needed to improve cruise performance. The same will be done by both the Starlink Jet and the Cavadet X5. Both these aircraft have successfully completed 50% scale model tests lately. Thanks to electric propulsion technologies, we can look at designing such aircraft again. So what do you guys think about the Starlink Jet? Do you think it resembles the Quinjet? Do let me know in the comments section. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.